So the last part of skinning is going to be the fingers. So I'm just going to articulate all my fingers at the same time like this. And I want to work only on the outside part of the fingers. So I'm just going to add some weights here on the knuckles and this articulation. So our volume is going to get better instead of so rounded. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do it by hand. So again, I go to my NG skin tools. Here, I'm just going to duplicate again this layer. By the way, we can rename the layers. We don't need to to keep this naming. So I'm just going to duplicate this time. It's going to take a few seconds. I'm just double clicking and just can put like fingers. Something like this. And now here, if I go finger L, it's going to show up all my blended and all my um, non blended. So I'm just going to do on the blended. So just going to use blend finger. And now we have a lot of fingers here. So I want to use also the index of zero. So this is zero, one, two, that it's, um, we check here, which is the order. So this is going to be the zero, one, and two. So the, the two, it's the most extreme one outside. Um, I don't want the color coding, so I'm just going to use my material overwrite here. And honestly, I don't want to see the the joints on, unless like with the um, this um, X-ray. Also, my my controls, I don't want to see it. So it's important to keep clear your view of what you are doing. So it's going to be much better. So I'm just going to start with zero. So you can see here this highlights in blue. So I'm in the right selection. Now add. I'm just going to add a little bit there and there. Just a little brush. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Okay, maybe I should center my camera. Okay, like this. So now it's orbit around the, the arm. Just um, continue. So you can see now it's much better. Now I'm just going to go no the next one and do the same. Just small bar brush and yeah, a little like this. Go to crazy, just a little bit. And here the last one. This is going to be also there. So you can smooth and brush, smooth and brush. I use it with my hotkey. It's a shift on an NG skin tool. So you change from uh, the current tool to the smooth one. So you can see it much better. Okay, let's move for the next finger. So just going to put here index one and same process. Index zero from the index one finger. Paint a little bit. Just check it out how it's looking. It's very important, the looks. Again, here it's one, so I'm just gonna paint this so it's smooth and paint, smooth and paint. Oops, take care, I'm just painting the other finger like this. Also, it's a good idea sometimes, as like if you already finished with one finger, you can reset the finger so you get better access to the other side or do one by one. That's up to you. So, well, in this case, I'm just just gonna do now one by one instead. So I'm just gonna select this tree and just gonna rotate this. You can see here that I I just moving everything. This one. here is not so probably what I did here by mistake is I did a float so you can see here whoop that's totally normal I I did a mistake so what he can do for this I'm just gonna kind of undo this but maybe this is too much because I already painted quite a lot so Maybe my undo it's gonna even crash. Okay, so it didn't crash. Good. Let's check it out now. It's still there. It's gonna undo a few times more. 
and we did too much so still there okay don't worry so I did a good m mess here that was expected so what we can do now is because we have all these backups and just gonna come here to my layer and delete select the layer so no worries I'm just gonna duplicate this uh, layer again and start again so that's the bad part so I have to do the other finger again but it was a good reminder of why we do this thing I think it's um it was not planned on this uh, tutorial to do this but I think it's good to keep it because um, it's not too much time that we lost like around five minutes right now on the on the timing for this video but it's really really good to see that this is not a big deal because we keep all our savings so it's not like we save a lot of versions of or on our scene but here we was keeping the accounting for us okay so just gonna try to be more careful this time and do one by one the fingers I'm just gonna also pull this out and same thing so I'm just gonna go zero and restart my process don't do flute don't do it I was about to do it and probably I did it because while we see better the deformation with this override instead of this painting here it has a big disadvantage and it's that our visual cue that I'm very used to that I see where where I'm painting is not there anymore so probably I try to activate it one more time this thing and that was probably my mistake maybe I need to rewatch this video to to find it you will see it for, for sure but again so here because now I'm processing one by one it's uh, also a bit clear what I'm doing you see sometimes the best way to work is to try and error so I did this process like thousands of times and it's still like making these silly errors from time to time that's okay let's go with the flow okay that's good so I'm just gonna move for the next one maybe I should save the scene here so we don't need to go back if I make another mistake okay around there again paint let's go for the finger one zero and again you can do it also like instead of by one by one finger maybe by rows like first the knuckles then the next joint on the on the finger and so on that's another approach I will recommend to do this kind of approach like very methodical ones where you start with one like let's say finger or one row and continue all the way to this always so you don't uh, miss later parts it's very important so I'm just doing it here pretty brute force for me the most important is uh, to keep this straight as much as possible so you can see here and again if you want to be even more perfect you can make the corrective lane shapes in this video tutorial we will add some corrective lane shapes also on the fingers so it's gonna be even better for the moment we just want to focus on the base deformation to help us okay that's good again next one and from this point I'm just gonna speed up the video so you don't have to see me paint the rest
Okay, so we have all the fingers with the new skinning. So you can see here, this is the the new deformation. Maybe an, I want to go back to the zero one or the index zero and just just brush up a little bit here. So I'm comparing now all the knuckles. So we can see, oops. Just painted the thumb there. So this is the old deformation. And now I'm just gonna activate. This is the new deformation, so you can see it's much improved. Last I'm just gonna work on the on the thumb. So I'm just gonna make a new save here. And for the thumb, I just want to work with all the fingers because I want to add also the formation here. So you can see here, this is not like very good right now. So I just want to go to my thumb zero. That is the one in the base. So I just can see here it's barely, barely affecting this area. So I just want to add like this. Again, I'm just using a very visual approach, eyeballing. You can go more numerical if you wish. That's uh, depending on the state. I prefer to go like that or just go with the the guts and see how it's it's deforming. But again, this is something very personal. So maybe it depends on the person or the workflow. You want to change it. That I'm not saying is the best way to do it, but at least it's the one that works for me. Okay, so not like that, and just smooth. Again, I'm just gonna put the override here. And sometimes I also remove the wireframe on top so I can just focus on the volume. Shading in Maya is not the best to to see perfectly the volume. Um, sometimes I use like a um, real-time shader that gives like a matte cap, like a ZBrush, that is the best. But in this case, I'm just using the default one. So. Okay, so here the finger. So I'm just gonna again brush up this part. little bit and we can use the thumb uh, blend now so this is gonna be the one here um, paint this is this one to add some um, like some volume here on the whoop on the articulation just was painting the the arm there like this and now the this side, so I'm just gonna go and this is similar to what I did with the other fingers, just brush up there. Again, take care with painting the other side. I do this all the time. Just gonna put this in more convenient position. Okay, so now I think we are done with this. So we can just um, now check um, the fist of the new skinning. So I'm just gonna put this in a fist position. This and also use this method to give more appealing and break a little bit. this okay nice so last thing let's check one more time so turn off the layer so that was the old deformation and on again and this is the new deformation 
good so we're done with the skinning just one click ahead just say here and mirror now I just want to get rid of all these layers but for this tutorial because we want to keep it well we have it on the starting scene of this uh, this video but also um, for keep it for future we can export this so I'm just gonna go here and under my for instance uh, here on the um, just gonna create a new layer uh, folder call it ng skin and I'm just gonna call it layers very simple name so we can store these layers so later if we want to re-edit again we can just recover the layers. so now it's gonna take a few seconds to save and just delete all the layer nodes and save for scene so we are done and clean with that